so that's a little most of uh, well, the side done of this floor. Uh, the 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 portal does lead to uh, well, I don't want to spoil it, so I won't. Portal leads out of here, though. Obviously, it leads to our next place. Obviously, and that's all I have to say about that. Would you drop bolts? Something like arrows, bolts. What was that? Yeah, you always gotta check. You never know when I misidentify a sound. It happens a lot in this game, actually. You go, ooh, a ring, and they're like, no, that was an enemy. Like, Damn it! Why do I always get those mixed up? Yeah, the the stun attack also has a bit of knockback to it. But once again, I've never been a fan of knockback. You're a melee character. Knocking back just means you have to go chase the guy. Why? Why would I knock back? Ugh. No, hit, die, thank you. Now, we're getting close here, getting close. Listen, Emma! Hit everything! You didn't hit everything, but you hit most things, so I'm happy with you. Listen, Emma! Ring mail! Don't even remember what Al Hazir is on anymore. What, what are you on? You are on a breastplate, which is better than ring mail, I think. Pretty sure. Okay, that looks like that's it. Except for maybe over here? <coughs> Ow. How dare you, skeletons! How. Oh, sorry, horror archers. In another upgrade that doesn't really mean anything in the scheme of things. What the hell? What is this? Looks like a satyr. Okay. Open up the portal, says me. I did. Yeah. Okay, we are done here, so let's go through the portal. Anything this to say? This surely is the product of a twisted mind. Yes, we've made it to the arcane sanctuary, and I've already given away that I hate this place. It comes fully equipped with a s with a waypoint that I will use. <laughs> forgot how much stuff I had. Uh, I do not like the Arcane Sanctuary. There are four ways to go. One of them has uh, the thing that we need, uh, which was called Horizon's Journal. Good day. That is what we need to find. And uh, well, on our way, we'll get the other quest. Um, you know, once we're inside of the journal, they'll be like, oh yeah, get here, do this as well. Oh, okay. Couldn't come up with a good idea for... Uh, couldn't come up with another good idea for the for the fifth quest. You just had to come up with, oh, uh, yeah, just do it while you're there. Why not? <laughs> uh, this this thing right here, four percent life stolen. Life stolen is incredibly good, but no, no, I'm gonna pass on it for now. And I do have enough to get myself a second skull here. Very nice. Uh, do I have anything in the queue? No. Okay. And I am not going to check with Drognan. I do not care. He doesn't have anything that I'm going to need. Let's go back to the Arcane Sanctuary. Okay, there's four ways to go. Uh, there's... Well, there's really... Three different kinds? I think three different kinds of paths that you can take. Maybe they're all different. It's all very M.C. Escher-ish. Es es M.C. Escher-ish. That is surprisingly hard to say. Uh, around here. <laughs> Uh, we do have Hell Clans up there. Um, basically, yeah, it's a product of the of somebody's mind, but they haven't told us who. They haven't told us who. Fine, I'll give it away. The guy's name is the Summoner. That's all they give you. And this right here, these guys, these ghoul lords and specters, between the two of them. This becomes a much more difficult dungeon than it should be. These guys steal life, uh, the specters steal mana. And these ghoul lords, they can cast, as you saw, a row of fire, and then they can cast a fire bolt, fire ball at you. Now, every single one of these is going to have a split path. Every last one. Uh, there's usually three on the way with bridges in between, so it forms kind of like a ladder, if that makes sense. You'll see all the time. See, this is why I hate it. Look at that. Just casting fire all up in my grill, 
Al Hazir, of course, is trapped behind because he's stupid. Oh, he figured out the stairs. I didn't think he'd be able to. But now he can't figure out what the hell's going on here. And that's one of the big problems here is your mercenary is going to have a lot of trouble figuring out how to navigate through the Arcane Sanctuary, leaving you pretty much by yourself. Do not stand in the fire. I shouldn't have to point that out by now, but don't stand in the fire. The fire bad for you. Fire hurts. I don't, there's no way in this game to be able to absorb an element, so don't don't stand in the fire. It will always hurt. Oh, ah, crude light plated boots. I thought they were like a special color. And sometimes you can tell when they're a special color and uh, they'll be like gold or something. Alright, so light plated boots I don't think we've seen before. Um, they usually have a little bit higher defense, maybe of 8, but they're not going to be better than what I've got here. No. Alright. Uh, I, I usually like just to go to the middle part here. There's always going to be a middle part in the Arcane Sanctuary where, you know, you can, you can take out few enemies and then uh, head back and then I can clear out the other side on the way back and yes I will there you will be going back even if I find the quest thing here I'll be going back and exploring the other ones I don't think I have ever though gone the right, right way the first time now this is where I hope blessed hammer is effective but it never works for me I always try I always try but it never works. It never works. I got like two kills there with it, but still, that's that's not as good as it should be. All right, we've made it to. Hey, oh, his ear teleported to me. Awesome. That's the only way that uh, your mercenary is going to be able to keep up is through teleportation. Really. Die. Okay, we are ready to move on. Um, mana shrine down there. Shrines look very awesome in this, though, I must say. And it looks like we have reached the end of uh, the ladder here. And so we should be seeing very close a, a, a branching path uh, from the middle. Now let's finish off these guys. Why? Oh, I'm clicking off the freaking MC Escher thing. Okay, so let's go up the stairs. Al Hazir, please come with. He figured it out. Awesome. And we should be seeing either a, a good treasure chest or oh, uh, or these things. Lightning spires. Another reason why I hate these things. They are immune to poison, as are all buildings in this game that you have to that you have to destroy. Uh, they can sometimes take forever to kill, and they launch lightning at you. And lightning in a circle, they are not a good time if you have no uh, defense against lightning. Poison? I don't care about your poison. Give me your ring mail and your belt. What else you got here? Nice, I'll take all that. And last chest. They're not really glowing chests, but they're still really good. I usually find a few of them. Now we need to head the other way back down. Miss some gold. 90 gold. Now this other way is going to be a lot easier. Simply because we've cleared out all the enemies in the middle. And that makes things a little bit easier. Was the hammer still swinging? It was still swinging. It missed everybody though. That's one of the problems. That the distances here are very erratic. I swear I heard like a level up sound. Did I, I did open that. Okay, good. Good. Because I don't want to go back up there. It's kind of complicated. I don't understand why it needs to be complicated, but it is. There we go. Grab some more gold. 68, the speed of sex. Let us head down and take out these night lords again. This is, or sorry, ghoul lords. This is usually what I call them because this is where I remember them because I hate them so much when they're here. Alright, that should give me a couple kills. There we go. A couple more. Al Hazir, please figure out how to do this. Uh, this is one of the toughest ones for your mercenary to go through with you. Uh, this particular setup. Damn it. I have to heal. 
There we go. I was here figuring that by teleporting. Now we can start doing damage. <laughs> nice. Hit the ghoul lord. I hate the ghoul lords. Because my character isn't heavily reliant on mana, I am not that concerned with the specters, and I'm overly concerned with the ghoul lords. That's just me, though. I'm, I'm sure there are other characters. In fact, I know there are other characters that are like, No! Damn you! Stop draining my mana! That's my lifeline! Apparently when you kill a specter, it makes the level up sound. Uh, these things with holes, they usually have spikes on them. No? Come on. You're not gonna go for me? There we go. They got spikes. Didn't hit me, apparently, though. That it was weird. Uh, so don't step on those and stay on those. I, I don't know if they... And now I'm surrounded so I can't get out of the fire. It didn't last too long, anyway. Ah, that was so close to hitting you, Google Lord. So close. All this way because I have no range. This is why I do not like the Arcane Sanctuary. I highly recommend if, um, if you're going through this solo, uh, maybe in the higher difficulties, uh, bring it along uh, maybe a crossbow or a bow, something like, something like that for when you're here, even if it's not your main weapon. Uh, just, just so you can deal with a lot of these problems that I'm having. Uh, healing potion, there we go. Morning star. Not that great, but I will take it. Another chest. Another ghoul lord. On a day's work. And this is actually a dead end. Nice. So we have completed one fourth of the arcane sanctuary. That is just one side. I told you that I do not like this place. But the other one should not be as difficult to maneuver through as this one. There is one that uh, gives me a little bit of problems, but not as much as this one. Although I'm sure people will disagree with me on that. I always, always, always like to go back since I'm right on the waypoint anyway. Looks like the belt that I picked up is ethereal. That sucks. Yes. Uh, it is an honor to serve. I think I have anything that great. Yeah, Morning Star. Ethereal 280. <laughs> Otherwise, it would have been, you know, like this, like three, two, three thousand, something like that. Deposit my money, and we can move on. Like I said, the Arcane Sanctuary has, I believe, three or four different designs, and there's a different one for each one, and, uh, oh, we're on the simple one. Yes. <laughs> I'm a big fan of the simple one. This one has no convoluted anything. You you run, you you destroy, and then there's a branching path. They all have the same uh, branching paths. There's one that looks a little different, but it still has uh, the same idea. Um, two branching paths. Rondash. How's the Rondash? Fifteen? No. Okay. What choose left first this time? This one is the simple one. Uh, there's no, like, MC Escher anything there. Should not be staying in the fire, but thought I could handle it. Shift diamond. Damn it, Ghoul Lord, get back here. No, we cut you off. <laughs> you are surrounded. Damn, I, that guy hit hard. Let me, let me heal. Try this. Ah, oh, super. Hell Shrine, right there. That's exactly what I wanted to see after I used a potion. Hell Shrine. Yeah, don't step on the spikes. This is uh, typically the one that has the most spikes on it. And here's the first branch, or er, first rung of the ladder, I should say. Try to keep my metaphor straight. Let's go down to the middle. Clean up house here. Oh, super, they have lightning and fire. Die. Die. And yes, they do put them here, and as far as I can tell, the spikes do not damage the uh, the monsters or anything like that. They only damage you, which is always nice. It's always nice when they play by different rules, you damn cheetahs. Of course, I can respawn infinite amount of time, so maybe it's even. Maybe it's even. You don't get hit by spikes, I cannot be killed. I think that works out well for everybody. Ethereal. Throw it over over the side here if I could. I mean that is awful. There's no point in that. 
Jeez. Honestly, I don't know why they put most ethereal things into the game. There are very limited amount of things that can be used when they're ethereal. Um, there is a rune, I believe it is the highest rune that you can get, that will uh, make everything unbreakable and vulnerable. I'm not sure the term that they use, but pretty much you put that on an ethereal thing, and uh, it works out. And then you can use it, and uh, it'll never break. However, well, that means that I would need the highest rune in the game, and I'd have to waste it on, you know, like a grand scepter or something like that with absolutely nothing on it. I know it's random, but it doesn't mean a little, little more rules couldn't be created. All right, so we've made it to the highest, low, highest rung of the ladder. Time to go up to the top, and. Honestly, I'm not hoping for the quest to be over here, and it isn't, uh, otherwise my quest log would have uh, popped up when I got that close. Holy crap, there's a lot of gold on this side. Can you kill him? Thank you. Got me a level up. Nicely done, Al Hazir. Damn, this is a lot of gold. I wish they would just pile it into one pile so I didn't have to click on them individually, but what are you going to do? Everybody likes to just scatter their gold around like Scrooge McDuck, but then they realize that they don't have enough to swim in it. Which is always an awesome idea, to swim in your gold. I think I had room for that. Oh, I thought if I stood still it wouldn't work. Uh, hatchet hands. No. And once again, it's back down the other side. Oh. What's my base step? I don't think I'm even close yet. Okay. And one more to concentration. There we go. Let's continue on. Just trying to go back down the other way, and then we can go to the waypoint again. Uh, it gets very repetitive. I fully understand that. But this is one of the best places in this act to level up. Is it the best place to level up and level grind and try to get some good items. No! But that place is coming up. I know it's been a while since I've gone over grinding spots because, well, to be honest, there aren't any good ones in the early second act. I would, you know, instead recommend going back to the first act and killing the Countess again so you can get another room instead of level grinding anyway in the first act, in, in, in the early second act. But we are getting very close. This is, this is a good spot. It's not great, but it's good. Lots of enemies in a relatively small amount of space. You just have to double back on yourself all the damn time. And plus there's treasure chests on the end. Always going to hold some some good items. At least blue items. Uh, so you can at least sell them. At the very least. Hit him! Oh, come on. That looked like that went right through the ghoul lord. Right through him. Run through the fire. At least I'm not inside the fire. Like Devin. Okay. Trying to kill all of these things. That doesn't look special. It's a claymore, though. I don't think we've seen a claymore before. So I will pick that up once we finish off these ghoul lords. Or once Al Hazir finishes off these ghoul lords. A claymore is basically an upgraded um, two handed sword. It does more damage, it attacks with fast speed. Uh, I still wouldn't recommend it unless uh, you have some buff to swords or it has some really good stats on it. Otherwise, I would avoid it. Once again, I always say go for the uh, go for the things that, you're, that that bonuses your character skills. All right, back to Luca Lane, real fast. Yeah, just this place is is almost designed. Good to see you. For, for grinding the Arcane Sanctuary. I feel like I'm grinding because I keep on doing the same thing over and over again, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. I don't think I ever checked that that fanged helm, but it worked out well. Once again, I'm not even going to bother checking uh, Drognan because, well, I'm pretty set. I've got a plus three to concentration on a Grand Scepter. I can't imagine what he would have that could beat that. And then plus I have my backup, which I'll admittedly sucks, but... Ah, we found, uh, we found this one. This is the portal one. I'm not a fan of the portal one. But I still managed to get through it better than the MC Escher one. Uh, 
even though this whole place is kind of MC Escher, but the, the one over to the top left, that one was the one that really bothered me. Uh, if you have a ranged character, this, this is like heaven for you. You can just pick off people all day and never, never have to fight them, and they'll never fight back. Uh, there are still two branching paths here, even though it gets a little convoluted with all these teleport pads. Um, I'm going to take this path first, um, which is... Geez, I don't know. Technically, I guess this would be right to the right of the screen, so I guess I'll call it right. Even though, technically, it'd be going left. Whatever, I'm overthinking it. R we're taking this side first. This one, uh, at least every time you teleport, your mercenary catches up to you, so I like it better than the MC Escher one. Now the fourth one, I can't remember what the fourth one was. I think it's just a normal, normal one that we had in the top right. But I could be wrong. There's only one portal one, though. I know that for sure. I know that one. But this one, it's cool looking. This is definitely the product of a demented mind. And Siesha was very demented, by the way. I don't know if you guys know that. I assume he was on LSD, to be honest with you. Uh, they both lead to the same spot. Yeah, th these are the two that they lead to, it looks like. Go down here. And then, um, where does this one go? Yeah, this one goes over here. So I'll try to f I'll, I'll clean up the middle ground when we come back, I guess. Because I already missed it. 